All right, so this is the morning after Hurricane Christine. And we took kind of a hit on the garage. Our roof that we had put over the second floor patio came down. And we watched it happen really is kind of watched it happen go on in real time inside because I've got a CCT camera up there and it was swaying and swaying for the longest time. And, you know, about the middle of the night, the crash came down and I captured video of that. Take you upstairs and show you what it looks like up there. So if you have to have a a roof like this come down, this is probably the best case scenario. Uh, it, did, it did a lot of damage to the stainless steel railings. It dented my water tank pretty good, but it's still holding water. Uh, the good thing is it didn't crash all the way to the floor, you know, to the street. And uh, it didn't, it didn't, I uh, got two air conditioner outdoor units up there and it didn't, it didn't hurt them at all as well as my, my lighting that I, I have on four of these lights. They were hard to find. They didn't, uh, didn't touch those. And it didn't really break anything in here. The uh, Starlink is still attached up on the roof, uh, but I, I can't get it. I can't get a signal. So something happened to the cable up there. I, I can only assume this cable that I can see looks okay, but um, the Starlink I have up at the house, at the build site, it's fine. You know, it didn't do no damage at all. Uh, got a good signal. I even have the, the Wi-Fi router, router outside under an eave and it, it was fine. So back to, back to this. Um, I think, you know, when, when something like this happens, it's, it's the cause is many things, not just one. I mean, it's not even the typhoon that really, really caused it. What happened, um, I think, is a multitude of design uh, missteps. What I wanted was a higher roof up here, you know, so it wouldn't inhibit, you know, the view of the of the volcanoes here and then on this side the view of the of the you can see water here on a clear day of Tayabas Bay so that was that was one of my uh, bad ideas was to make it tall enough to even cover the the tank and the air conditioner up here that should have been either omitted or had its own separate roof. But if I had to, to choose what really caused this, I'll show you. And we are gonna rebuild it and we're gonna make it lower and we're gonna incorporate uh, some things that's gonna prevent this. Uh, the, the pads that we bolted in here uh, weren't deep enough. Uh, there's, I'll show you the one that failed completely. We should have put a lot of gusseting, uh, four places, maybe even six places of really thick gussets. Uh, th this, most of these that I can tell, I'd say maybe half of them failed at this point. The others is where the plate came clean off. You, you can see here, much better how this just these these bolts in here weren't uh, secured properly and i'm not sure they were welded when they were put in here before the mortar and so this uh, it looks like they were welded they were welded to rebar here that was set in the concrete and they were probably welded down here in this rebar Right here, I can see evidence of being welded. 
but the forces, you know, once it started, once it started swaying, as as you can guess, you know, those forces just keep adding up and adding up every time you get a big gust, and, and you know, eventually, it, when one failed, the the rest of them came with it. The second design problem here was the way that we su supported the roof frame on top of the posts. So the roof framing sat in this notch and was welded in this notch. And I'm sure that it would have been a whole lot better to use, of course, more gussets up here as well. Really thick gussets, you know. That's another point. Another issue that I found was because the, if you look, the, the way those, uh, those notches held the top of the frame up, they weren't covered. So water, water just was able to go in there freely. And here's what happened with that. I think the water, who knows how, how full these got with water, but you can see all kinds of the dirt that was in here and the rust was already starting. Um, and this is you know, not even a year old. So I think in the, the new design, we're going to have some cutouts here to let, to let the moisture and the water and anything that gets in there out. And we'll also cover the top. So the new, the new, uh, the new roof canopy here is gonna be you know, a lot lower. I'm talking maybe four feet lower. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, it's gonna be, a, I think it's gonna be a, give it a more snug appearance. Because uh, one of the, the things that, that was a byproduct of having the roof so high is, uh, one, when it was sunny, there was very little shade up here. Number two, when it rained, there was very little dry spaces, especially here, you know, behind me, this is where our weather comes from, from uh, north to south, uh, mostly. And the rain would just fly all the way in and more than halfway. So even if it was raining, you really didn't have anywhere to go up here and you would get either rained on or get a lot of mist and it was just bad. Um, so having, the roof lower is going to, I think, solve a lot of that. Another uh, thing I want to do is when we put this new, new one on, I'm going to have them. We do have a portal to get up on top of the roof, but I was so scared being so high, I didn't want to go up there, uh, and, you know, to to look at the Starlink or solar panels or anything like that. So I'm going to have them put a. Uh, we'll have a portal on this one with the permanent ladder. And uh, I'm going to have them put anchor points along the top of the roof so I can use a, um, a harness, you know, so any, anyone can go up there with a harness and if you slip and fall, at least you won't go all the way down. So, you know, we'll incorporate a lot of our ideas that we wish we had put into this the first time. Um, I guess You know, when it was swaying, it looked like it was going to come down. I, I said, I said, I just hope it falls. I really do. I, I'm glad it fell because uh, half the work's done now. <laughs> as funny as it sounds, uh, we already had a crew out here to look at it, and uh, it's going to be, it's going to be a chore to, to take it apart piece by piece. But uh, certainly a lot easier now that it's down and not up. And, and weak, you know, it's it's down and and lashed lashed to the railings, so we can a little bit more safely take it apart.